Hello guys, welcome back to the tutorial series where we're going to do stylized uh, wooden planks. So, um, uh, I forgot to mention that I am going to make uh, one more detail uh, on this uh, this mesh here, <coughs> and that is I'm going to isolate select this plank here, for example. And I'm going to go to my standard brush, uh, freehand with no alpha, and I'm going to do a kind of a bigger brush, let's say something like 14, 15, something like this, and I'm just gonna, oh, uh, let's see, why is this, I think Lazy Mouse is on, yeah, I'm gonna turn on Lazy Mouse, uh, turn off Lazy Mouse, and I'm just gonna do something like this, and something like, something like this, um, these are meant to be, um, nails going into the wooden planks, um, and I know they don't really look like it right now, but uh, if we're gonna go, if we if we go to our trim dynamics brush by going B, uh, T, and then D, we can then scrape away and add this. So let's go to something like ten. Let's just chip away at this, at all of the edges. This way we get some really nice uh, edge details that we can also get from our bakes, and we can use in the texture. So it's something like this. Let's do this for both of these. So something like this. And this can create some really, really nice detail in your, in your textures. So if, uh, and even if you come to the, uh, the cracks brush again, so B and this time O for all brushes and then go to the, the cracks brush. And we go down to something like, let's say seven. We can just, if we turn off Lazy Mouse, we can create a crack where the uh, nail is going into the wood. So something like, something like this is probably going to work. And we can then go back to our Trim Dynamics brush and trim away at some of this. Uh, let's see, I want a smaller brush here. So something like this watch uh, watch out when you do this that you're not um, accidentally hitting the the nail I am in this uh, in this case here so that can uh, uh, misshape your nails here and you don't really want that but um, you can basically counter this problem by doing a larger crack so something like uh, that's not really good let's see if I can do it better don't really want it to go down too much into this, so let's see. Something like this, and then trim dynamics brush, and then just chip away at this with the same principle as as before when we took out the the corners and the and the side bevels of the of the wooden planks. Uh, just make it a bit make it a bit chaotic. Uh, these are meant to look like they have been used these tile, uh, these planks here so there's really no um, constraints when we're, when coming to that so something like this this is probably a bit too much so I'm just gonna smooth this a little bit and then trim away at it a little bit more so some, something like that and um, I would do this to all of the all of the planks um, and get the nice detail uh, on all of them so uh, I'm just gonna pause the video here and I'm gonna come back when I have all of that done. So see you guys then.